welcome to the leg workout guys and just before we start i'm going to say this was the hardest workout i've had in months four and a half hours sleep had an exam just before this i was absolutely shattered you know but i grinded through it got some good footage for you so i hope you enjoy it and as you can see here we started off by just doing squats on leg day always start with squats and went for eight sets we warmed up on the bar for two sets but i don't really count that as a set and then as you can see here we got 60 kilograms working weight and we went for 12 to 15 reps and then we worked our way up pyramid style like in the previous video for chest so we went from 60 to 70 and then to 80 and then 90 100 etc and as we went up we dropped the reps so as you can see here working with 80 kilograms and honestly i'm very happy with my strength on my legs over the last couple of months my previous leg workout i was working with 80 to 90 kilograms for eight reps or six to eight reps and now i'm on hitting 110 for sets of five and i'm getting good depth on them so very happy with my strength the bulk's going well and um, here is set five of 100 kilograms and i hit this out for eight reps which i was quite happy with they're very grindy and yes my form could still do with some work do a bit of tweaking but i've not been training legs too long like i said in my previous video and so happy with how it's coming along now, I tried a personal best of 120 kg, and you're going to see that live in a minute. And don't be too critical on my form. I had a spotter with me as well. I actually found it quite scary having so much weight on my shoulders, you know. It was really intimidating, but um, you can see what happens in a minute. So, hope you enjoy it, and here you go, guys. As you saw there, the that, that set honestly nearly killed me. I was so tired, but I didn't record the next one I did, and I got two reps on 125 kg, and on that second rep for that one, I got good depth on it. I honestly thought I weren't going to be able to push it back up, so it really, really tested my strength, but I was very happy with how I came out with it. I know there's going to be some form critics out there who say I didn't go deep enough, but it's a work in progress. My legs are a work in progress, and I'm making good strength gains on them, and I'm seeing noticeable size. Anyway, back to the workout, and we focused on the hamstrings now. I said in my previous leg workout, don't neglect the hamstrings because a lot of people just focus on quads and then your yeah, legs just go quad heavy. It's a bit like your biceps. Everyone focuses on biceps. And we did this uh, superset. So we did 10 reps on the line hamstring curl machine, which I've never used before, and it's the best hamstring machine I've ever used. And, uh, no commercial gym seems to have them, which is a shame. And then we've got this standing single leg raise one which after doing 10 reps on that was an absolute killer each leg and then we moved on to this machine which i also had never used before and it was it looks weird and i was like what is this but it's called the hack squat machine and it's just set out there's, there's one at my local gym it's just set out differently and we just pyramid styled this so we went 10 kg each side so not much at all and then 15 and then 20 on the final set so is me using 15 and you go very deep down onto it i did my first rep and then tom said to me you're only halfway down and i was like oh my god like <laughs> that, that it, it was absolute killer that one was and like i said this workout was so tough it was one of the toughest i've done in a while so i was really grinding out these last few reps on these last few exercises and we've got another superset now 20 reps each so 20 reps on leg extension and getting nice controlled on the way up and the way down there and pointing my feet up as I do the leg extension. That's a little tip. If you point your feet up and your toes up when you go out and extend, it's going to contract the quads more and you're going to feel the burn more in them. A lot of people just point their toes straight ahead. And then we went on to seated calf raises. And some of you may know that I've not been doing calf raises at all of late because of my bruised bone in my right toe. So it's been quite painful to 
do them because you're putting a lot of pressure on it. But grinding through them, and then we did some more calf raises here, and this absolutely finished me off. And we did drop sets, three drop sets, and yeah, that's about it, guys, for the leg workout. No RDLs in there today and no front squats either. But like I said, it was the most tiring workout I've done in a long, long time. Um, hope you've enjoyed it and hope you've enjoyed the content so far. I'm trying to bring it as quick and as fast as possible and as varied as possible. But with work at the minute and the course, you know, I've got a lot going on. So please forgive me if it's not up to speed or whenever you want it. Let me know if there's anything you need and anything you want to know about specifically. Thanks for watching again and hope you enjoyed it, guys. That was the leg workout. Just literally walked out of the gym and that is the most tiring workout I've had in months, literally months. I'm in agony. My calves, I cannot feel them. My quads, hamstrings, everything is just gone. I'm out of breath. Yeah, very intense. Hope you enjoyed the footage. Tried to get as much as possible, especially when going to the warehouse gym. It's got great facilities as usual. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me so far. And yeah, I'm gonna keep continuing bringing you these videos for over the coming weeks and months. Once again, thanks for the support. And I'm gonna go home and smash a post-workout meal. See you on the next one.